Crime continues to be an issue across the country and at times community policing forums quickly turn things around to ensure the safety of community members. But the question is what exactly is involved in being a bridge between the police and community and what more needs to be done to support these initiatives. Bahai Tudumelang, good evening. My name is Tabo Malokwani. Welcome to this edition of Soweto Today. Tonight we discuss the importance of partnerships between the community and the private sector in the fight against crime. Now joining us in studio to have this conversation is Solando West, uh, Ward Councillor uh, from uh, Ward 39, that's uh, Lefa Mudise, and the Director of Arise and Shine Security Training. Uh, Academy, that's Nombulelo and Kemtu. They're both joining us in studio this evening. Uh, welcome to the show. Um, thanks for making sure and uh, you're coming to the show this evening. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much, sir. Much appreciated. Councillor Mudise, I want to start with you. I mean, um, you know, there's quite a lot of uh, mixed messaging when it comes to uh, a councillor's duties. Who is a councillor? What do they do? Maybe you can just uh, start the conversation by maybe explaining to an ordinary citizen, a councillor, and your duty as a councillor in your community? Thanks. I welcome the, the question because this is the most important uh, part of, of, of you know, clarifying. We are the representative in our respective wards as councillors. We, repre we represent our communities with uh, various issues. Uh, as you're speaking about crime, we are in the center of coordination between the security clusters and security stakeholders, including about CPF. And also, we are the ones who are bringing also uh, private sector. Uh, further than that, amongst other things, is that from government to government, entities to entities, we are the ones who need to be there and make sure that we coordinate you know, in terms of communicating clearly, adequately to the communities and tell the communities what is, hap what is happening on the ground and also representing our communities in, in, in our council. As you know that in the Johannesburg Metropolitan, we've got our council where we, we escalate our issues. If there are issues where there's bottlenecks, we need to come in and, and, and solve. But uh, the mismanage, uh, I mean, the misalignment of information is that we ought to do everything for everyone. And this is where you find that we need our communities, we rally behind our communities and our communities rally behind us so that we can solve uh, together the issues that we find on the ground. No, Mubulelo, let me bring you to this discussion. I mean, uh, you are from Arise and Shine Security and Training Academy. Uh, just generally, maybe talk Talk us what is it that you do as a private security company, especially based in a community like Orlando. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Yes, we are a security training academy. We do security grades, which is the training site and the security guarding division. So what we are doing, there are patrollers there that they were normally doing their work but not trained. So we have taken them and train them. Now we are in the process of training, making sure that they are registered at CIRA, they are accredited as uh, security officers and qualified ones. They can work anywhere. So we are busy now training them, making sure that our community is safe because after they've done the training, they will know what is expected of them, making sure that those people just, they take uh, people's hand back and everything. They know what to do because most of the time they just uh, act without knowing that they are, they are breaking the law. So with this training, we make sure that they know the law, they know what is expected of them as security officers. So basically we are doing training and making sure that every citizen in our community is safe. When they are going to school, they are going to work, they are safe because we have patrollers, now they are trained. So we are doing those training and also the security guarding divisions. And also we have a, a program that is coming, which is we will put CCTVs on all the areas that we have identified that there are people that have been like their lives are at risk in that area. So we will mm. do the CCTV installations because we also do we in homes and in private sectors. But now we will do in the community at large, in the areas that the council has identified. So we need assistance on this one. So that's where we are coming in. So we are doing trainings, guarding division, CCTV installation and alarm CC installations. Thank you so much. Councillor, um, I mean, obviously, this is um, an important partnership, uh, you know, with the security 
energy company. Uh, it has. I mean, I've, I've never heard of it. Uh, I think maybe this is the first time I'm hearing such a partnership between a private security company and the community itself. Uh, normally, it happens in uh, uh, more affluent areas uh, yes. in, in our, around the country. But tell us about how important is this partnership? No, Tabo, this, this partnership is very much important as to bridge the gap between private and also what we call uh, government uh, or governance. You know, at times you won't see this uh, much happening if there is nothing maybe as for as a catch, you know. Uh, but uh, we have made sure we realized what we need to skill our people and empower our people because there are people out there who who have lost hope in terms of of, of getting employment. Mm. So it is very much important that even if when we move with the speed that we move with in terms of trying to eradicate or eliminate e e e e employment, we e e unemployment, we must also skill our people, empower them, certificate them, so that tomorrow when they go out there, they know that they have benefited from a, part, a, 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 a partnership that is between private and governance. So it is very much important for us so that we close even the gap of those who have lost hope in terms of their age to say, uh, at a certain age, I know I'm not going to get uh, uh, employment anyway. Mm. So we are trying to, to bridge that gap. No, I mean, obviously there was a situation that prompted uh, you know, the creation of such a partnership. Maybe just share with us what actually transpired for you guys coming together and saying that, look, we need to work together and deal with this. Uh, for us, I think our vision is just to make sure that our people, firstly, insecurity people, they have this mindset of saying insecurity is the end of the world. So we wanted to change that mindset that being a security officer is not like it's the end of the world. Mm. In fact, we are just small police. We are trying to close all the gaps where our police maybe they don't notice. So it's just changing lives, making those people that there is life after all. You can be a security officer and make your life a better person than go out there. And in our country, we know that the, when it comes to job, when you are a security officer, there's no way that you won't get a job. So it's one of the jobs that are very important. So we have seen the opportunity to train our people to close every gap that we see that there is a gap. Then we grab the opportunity and we just close the gap by developing and empower our people. That's the reason, like, it's all about empowerment. I want us to park it there. Let's take a quick ad break. When we come back, we continue the conversation on the importance of partnerships uh, between the community and private security in the battle against crime. Do stay with us. Welcome back. You're still watching Soweto Today. Thank you for choosing to stay with us. Still in studio with us is Lefa Modise, who is the Orlando West Ward 39 councillor, as well as Nombulelo Mkemtu, the director of Arise and Shine Security Training. They're both with us uh, this evening in studio. Thanks for taking the time and, uh, you know, staying on. Um, before the ad break, we did touch on quite a lot of issues on the work that you do with the community and stuff. I want us to talk uh, more about where we are in terms of uh, the partnership at present. Um, I mean, obviously, the, you know, we spoke about how it actually culminated, but let's talk about where we are uh, currently with the partnership. Um, uh, since you are here together, uh, it means that you are still working together. Yes. Uh, let me also take this opportunity, Tabo, uh, to say there's somewhere where we started. We started with Harbour uh, Tombstones. They donated to us uh, CCTV cameras, they three. And we also donated by Pumla, which is a school that gave us those cameras. And then we ended up calling it Little Lower 39. So it's a, it's a campaign that is also, that has brought to say, we are requesting private uh, business to come. That's when Arise and Shine came to say we are responding to the to the call and today 
uh, 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 we are happy to say we've got around 25 patrollers, not only patrollers, uh, by the way, we've got community members who are also benefiting from this training. Uh, we are around 25 uh, uh, people that we want to test and check, Hore, but will mm. they will they survive even the training? So safe to say, Ares and Shine, they gave us a dedicated uh, 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 instructor. Yeah, that's that's where we are. I'm sure Ares and Shine also, they will want to continue uh, with the good work that they're doing. Mm. I mean, obviously this is, uh, you know, a huge task for also the security company. You've got other issues besides this, uh, that I mean, other problems that you are dealing with as a company. But how do we get members of, uh, you know, involved if they want to be. Um, the question that arises is, do I need certification uh, or an ordinary person can get involved? I mean, you are an academy also after all. Yes, yes, yes. I think in order for a person to be a security officer, it's very easy. You must be a South African citizen and you must be able to speak and write and you must be well trained. Uh, you can't be a security officer. So in security officer also, you must be never, never be involved in any crime. So we are accredited at CIRA. CIRA doesn't take a security officer who's been in, a, committed any crime. So in, in, in this program that we are busy in, we are making sure that they will be registered at CIRA, they will be qualified, they can work anywhere. After this project, we are sure that there will be definitely job creation for them and we are moving forward to the next batch of people because mm -hmm. it's something that is going to continue because there are many words that we are targeting with the help of the councillor because we are trying by all means to make sure that we, we close all the gap of the crime. Councillor, mm. how are the community, you know, how is the community receiving this? Uh, obviously, as the first citizen, you have cascaded the message to them, you know, telling them that, look, there's an important project, you've discussed it, and they know the importance of it. But uh, obviously, some, somehow, there has to be a benefit to it uh, for the community itself, because you are, uh, you know, in the fight against uh, crime in the area. Yeah. Now, so far, some sectors have not seen the benefit of, of everything, mm -hmm. and obviously, uh, until it, it, it yield results, you know, until we can see action on the ground, people will start uh, uh, seeing the investment when they realize that actually people who were trained, now they are coming out in numbers to do the job. So far you'll realize that we've got issues that are mainly, you know, bread and butter issues that are still being a challenge. Uh, as and when crime is happening, it's when people will start talking. But if it's quiet, uh, sporadically happening here and there, that's that's when you don't you don't really hear the much noise. But with 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 time, in time to come, uh, we are we are going to be facing festive season. That's where we'll be really uh, releasing all the trained security personnel coupled uh, with uh, with with the skills of patrolling. That's where we will be looking at now the capacity. That's where we'll be looking at the impact now uh, as to how did we do as to so far as uh, up to so far we don't we, we have not read yet uh, received you know that vibe. Mm -hmm. People are still. Are are still wanting to see if we will deliver. Obviously, it's 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 all about what do you do you bring as a change. But as soon as everything is on on, on, on place, we'll realize that uh, we've we've made much more investment. It's, for now, it's still uh, a, a, a time for us to to put our tax on 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 the road. I mean, Numbulelo, obviously, as a private security company, you come across you know pushbacks. Uh, from certain people, as uh, the council is saying, or uh, some people are just, you know, very skeptical now and again. They clearly don't understand the importance of this whole partnership. But uh, as a private security company, are you also, uh, you know, um, as part of your work, also working with, uh, as you are working with the community, uh, are the police also involved in, 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 in the whole setup of fighting crime or it's just, the community and then the private security, just that? For now, it's just 
us, the mm. partnership. We are still in the, I think we can say it's still the baby phase, but we will need them because there is a process of the fingerprints that they have to do to check if they are not in any crime. So we will need the police in assisting us on those areas. So for now, we are still in, in partnership, just us in the community. Mm. So the police are not involved yet. Let us take a quick breather. When we come back, we'll look at what more should be done in the fight against crime. So it today continues after this. Welcome back. You're still watching Soweto Today. Thank you for choosing to stay with us. We are wrapping up the conversation on the importance of partnership between the community and private security. Now still joining us in studio is Solando West, Ward 39 Councillor Lefa Modise and the Director of Arise and Shine Security Training Academy, Nombulelo Mgemtu. Thanks very much. Uh, we are about to wrap up the conversation. I mean, I want us to talk about uh, young people. Uh, you know, some tend to find themselves uh, involved in um, crime in, 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 in these communities that you are from. Um, how do we make sure that parents and guardians get involved in instilling, uh, you know, discipline in the youth as a preventative uh, measure? Obviously, the, the, there has to be engagement with, uh, you know, um, the older generation in order to make sure that they guide these young people. No, Tabo, uh, thanks. You know, uh, with all the two years that I've been in office, I've realized that there's a gap. There's a gap, generational gap, whereby uh, people who are in their 40s to 50s, they reason different between the people who are in their 18s and the 35s, you know? Uh, you can see now that there is a whole lot of uh, 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 mismanagement of information. Yeah. Mismanagement of information is how you translate the information to the other to, to to the other stakeholders. There is a gap between us and and our current young group of people as to how to do things, when to do things, all those kinds of of, of talks. They are needed so that we can be able to see where did we lose even our moral, uh, 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 you know, our morals as a, as a community. You can see that there is a big gap that needs to be closed. So in order for us to work as a, as a, as a united front in terms of the, the young and the old, there's no way, there's no difference. We must start talking about these, these, these issues uh, in terms of when are we saying someone is ready to consume information? Because it looks like we're leaving it until late before we can convey information. Mm. Uh, Numbulelo, what other support uh, do you need from the community and government in order to be able to succeed in your objectives as uh, a security company that is working hand in hand with the community? Oh, thank you so much for this question. We really need uh, help from our government because in order for them to be registered at CIRA, we must pay for them. And remember, they are not working. Remember, we are in a community where even the parents or even the families, they are not working. Mm. So trying to make sure that we are also closing the gap of poverty in our families is this creating jobs. So we will really need the help in making sure that even if it's a, a government or it's a private institution, who can pay for them? Because in at CIRA, we have to pay in order for them to be registered. CIRA require money. Mm. So also in this uh, project that we are busy, we'll be working on, which is the CCTV, the, like one CCTV camera is 10,000 rand, just one the one that will be able to see just in one spot. Yeah. Imagine if we can get those bigger ones that can look all around. So it means we need funds in order to buy those, those, those uh, cameras so that we make sure that we capture everyone who's doing this crime. And eventually we will be able to say our community is clean. 
but it's a baby phase now. We are starting and we need the help that we can get in any institution or in any government. Like there is a, the departments that they do funding on these programs like this, yeah. like the trainings, that where they will say, okay, identify people. Because what we are doing, we have identified a need and we are trying to meet that need. So that's basically what we are doing is Arise and Shine. We are meeting in the need of our community. So there are government institutions that they are funding such programs. But, you know, sometimes when you go there, you will find the door closed. So you will decide, okay, let me do it even if I will take from the one cent that I have in order to make sure that our community is a better place. How are the young people responding? Are they coming and registering? They with are the so company? excited. They are mm. so excited. They are so willing. I've been like in, I think our training we have done uh, two weeks now. The photos that the way they are responding, the way they are excited, the way they are so looking forward. I, I told them that on the last day we will do a big graduation where we will give them t-shirts, branded t-shirts, uh, we, they know what is expected of them as a security officer. We take pictures. They, their mindset, of course, will be changed because now they won't be just uh, ordinary patrollers now, but they will be qualified patrollers, making sure that they are registered at CIRA. Everything is done according to the law of our country. So we are really need the help in, in, like in the government institution. There are government institutions that they do training and they can pay us for doing that, making sure CIRA is, is, is really assisting us. Uh, just, uh, you know, before we end the conversation, uh, Councillor Malifa, do you have a hotline number, you know, for people who are uh, in the Orlando West community uh, and are aware of crime happening? How do they make sure that they report crime? And uh, also, uh, you know, is there a safe passage for them? Because, you know, people sometimes are afraid to come out and say something because they're afraid either of victimization or they're afraid that maybe the perpetrators might attack them? You know, Chavo, you're asking this question. As you can see, maybe you can think, uh, we, we are this generation that was born before technology. No? This is where we are requesting young people to come and assist us so that we create these platforms, social media platforms, where we can make it easy for people to have these 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 uh, 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 platforms where we can we can report crime. Actually, the vision is to is to have everybody to be to be to be as as a stakeholder. We've got young people who are busy, who are on the verge of of of, of presenting their their website for 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 what they deny. They came, they approached me, I gave them a, a, a go ahead to say, let's do this because our people, they need platforms where they can report even as anonymous. You know, it's, it's even dangerous these days to, to report crime and telling even your details yeah. because you don't know what's going to happen. So uh, platforms such as our, our hot, hot, hotline, we need to, we need to speedily uh, invent them and, and maybe uh, Put them out there as a as a platform where people can 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 report crime. You know, Tabo, it's it's so embarrassing that people are afraid of reporting crime because they are afraid of being victimized. So that tomorrow we have to uh, 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 we have to hide their identify uh, identity yeah. because people are saying, "Oh man, get a ugu reporter a crime." Tomorrow, the same person Obengem reporter will be telling me, "Oguti, I know it's you." You know, it's so embarrassing if you get such comments. And I'm saying, let young people come forward so that we can create these platforms. And to make it safer for our people, which none of they want to report crime, it should, it, it should be easy. And we are, we are challenging young people also to say, let them play a role. If ever we are doing this with Arise and Shine, nabo, let them come forward so that we can be able to use their expertise and skills and the latest technology so that they can be able to create platforms. Uh, Numbulelo, uh, in brief, uh, quickly, uh, where can people find you? Oh, our offices are in Job CBD, and we do have another one that we are planning to open in, in Orlando West. So for now, I think they can just call me for directions. Yeah, that's where we are. We are in Job CBD, and they can call me. 
Much appreciated. Thank you both for coming to the show. I hope to have you soon uh, back and uh, just to talk about the progress that is happening in Orlando West. Much appreciated. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, that's how we wrap it up for today's episode of Soweto Today. Thank you to my guest, uh, Lefa Mudise, who is the Orlando West War 39 Council, as well as Nombule Lomkemtu, who is the Director of the Arise and Child Security Training Academy, for joining us tonight to highlight the importance of partnership between the community and the private security companies. Remember, we love hearing from you, so please feel free to talk to us about this episode. Send us an email, it's Soweto Today at SowetoTV.co.za, or you can call or WhatsApp us at 081 from myself, Tabo Malukwani, and the rest of the team, good night and thank you for watching. Your primetime news with Masi Chaba Kobola is up next. Good evening.